Caledonia sports teams will have a new name. Thank you for joining us tonight at 6. The name Confederates or Feds is officially being retired. At today's school board meeting, members voted unanimously to adopt a new nickname and mascot. This comes after dozens of parents and community members voiced their concerns about what the nickname portrays. Our Quentin Smith was at today's meeting. He now joins us live with more on today's decision. Yes, Scott, Caledonia was first given the nickname the Confederates back in 1957. Now the school will undergo a name change for the first time in more than 60 years, and they'll have 60 days to determine what that new name is going to be. With the raising of their right hands, the five-member board made the highly anticipated votes to do away with the name Caledonia Confederates. I'm really excited. This is a long time coming. I'm happy. I feel like they acted responsibly. They listened to us. And they did the right thing. Amanda Nielsen has been advocating for this change for more than a month. She organized the group Unify Caledonia in an effort to have the name removed. As I looked into this whole thing, um, it became apparent, you know, black members have been, black members of the community have been asking for these changes for at least 40 years and nothing has been done. Nielsen has two kids in the school district. And while her kids are having good experiences at the school, she knows that's not the case for everyone, including her neighbor and recent Caledonia graduate, Naterica Shellman. Shellman believes the name Confederates should have been retired years ago. Now I know the school's taking steps forward to address the problems. Um, so it'll be better for my younger brother. He won't have to go through the same things I went through or have to ignore the same things that I had to ignore. I myself have seen a sort of a self-segregation that seems to have happened between the towns in my area and the name seems to contribute to that and as I've talked to people they feel intimidated by the name so that's not appropriate for a school mascot it's time to change that. I think the board needed to take a leadership position on this topic. The process to determine what's next is now underway. The principal, student body, community members and alumni now have 60 days to decide on a new name and mascot, then present that information to the board to make a vote. If we decide what the mascot is in this room, we may pick something that's not indicative of what the community represents, so we want them to do that. And I want to say, I don't, I don't think the mascot in the community views it as racist at all. I don't think the community's there. I, I have been in that community my entire life, and I don't see anything racist going on. It's just some people outside looking in view it that way, and it's just time to change that stance. Now, the new mascot and the new nickname will be presented to the board in September, and they'll officially take effect immediately following the board's vote. That's the very latest I'm here in Caledonia. Quentin Smith, WCBI News.